is the brand new Honda NSX GT car that's been launched today in Gran Turismo 7 actually a Group 3 killer? Well, we're going to find out because I brought it here to Le Mans in a Group 3 race. And I've just driven this car a tiny amount at Catalonia for the update video I did. And I was really surprised by the stability of the car. And it might be a handling champion. Now, obviously, we have the existing Honda NSX in Gran Turismo 7 Group 3. And it is a little bit of a connoisseur's choice. A very nicely handling car. It's the favourite of Valerio Gallo, the previous Nations Cup champion. And when I went to the Gran Turismo World Series in Amsterdam and interviewed Valerio Gallo, interview on this channel, by the way, I asked him why he likes the NSX so much. And he says it's because it's so well balanced. It's a really good platform, and when it rains, it can become a little bit OP. So here we are at Le Mans. It happens to be raining. We're up against the, the crop of the Group 3, like my beloved Peugeot RCZ there. And we're going to see how it does. We've got the R8 next up. We're going to smash into the first chicane here at the Mulsanne. So we'll see what it's like under braking as well. I'm very, very, very interested about this. This could become an actual real viable car in Group 3. Even there, you can see in braking feels great. We're going to nip up the inside and again with the Genesis. Probably a bit too high gear there, so we lose out on the exit. A little bit afraid of wheel spin on the exit there, but here we go. Up the gears again. So I'm not sure it's a straight line monster. You know, the current Honda NSX certainly isn't. But it's going to be about the corners. Is it going to be very manoeuvrable in the corners? Gaggle of Group 3 cars up ahead. See, we've got the Mazda. In fact, I might slot in here behind the Jag. There's the Pennzoil and the Beetle. Third gear this time, not fourth. Has it got that manoeuvrability? Yes, it does. On the power, no drama. So I'm trying to modulate the power. Oh my goodness, side by sides with the Mazda and now past the Penzel. This is all on the hardest difficulty setting as you might expect in this channel. And by the way, thank you so much everyone who has checked out my Gran Turismo 7 Beginner Masterclass. There are so many of you and the feedback's been amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to www.getfasteronline.com and uh, you won't regret it. Really won't regret it if you want to go faster. Right, here we go. Another third gear exit. Probably need to start doing those in second. But I'm just feeling my way. I am, of course, in honour of Valerio Gallo, who is the Honda NSX master. I'm driving in third person. But let's go inside first person for a little bit. Got the D-shaped wheel. Very unusual to see that. I said this was a uh, Japanese GT car. I seem to remember the dash looks exactly like the one in the um, Master MX-5 as well, doesn't it? I'll say it just feels right in this angle. It just feels so good. And now into bumper view. Can we go around the outside here? Yes, we. Oh my goodness! Well, there we go. If you wanted a corner to see what this car's about, that was really it. But it is time for the Porsche Curves. This is going to be a real test. You can't fake this. I could spin out. It could be the end of the video. Let's see. Coming in. Wow. Might try and go up the inside of the drag. No, nothing doing there. Tend to have the inside here. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this car is an absolute dream. I'm just... The car's making it look easy. I mean, they've released this car, right? Whether it was ready, you know, for launch or not. You know, back in uh, 2022 now, this game came out. Goodness me. Whether it's ready or not, they've released it now. They've released it with a lot of knowledge about the handling model. In fact, the handling model is completely different to when the game launched. When the game launched... It was, it, you would snap into oversteer and you'd lose a load of time before you could snap back in. And that made MR cars virtually undrivable. They, they killed off MR cars overnight. It actually made um, FF cars sort of really viable because they were just so understeer you'd never get the oversteer anyway. Just uh, try not to spin here. I think we'll try and go up the inside. 
for the last lap. But now the handling model is sort of what I would say is back to Gran Turismo Sport. Sort of. Oh no! Oh goodness me, we've lost it there. It's going to be a real challenge now. It's going to be a real challenge to get this done if we want to win this race. So lighting up there. Just as I was talking about how we've gone back to GT Sport physics. We light up the rear and go around. Okay. And even there you can see a bit of slipping and sliding. Don't think I'm quite on the optimal tyre here. I was hoping it would be a bit wetter. But the rain is definitely coming down. Okay. So, it's challenge time now. We're 15 seconds off the lead. We know how to drive this car. Let's unleash it. It looks like the intermediate tyre is probably the tyre, but... So other cars might be on the inters. But it looks like it's getting wetter as well, so it could come into our hands. 14 seconds now to the leaders. Some of these cars, if they're on the inters, might be struggling. Let's absolutely belt into this braking zone here. There we go. Keep it nice and straight. Down to second gear. I'm going to have to risk lighting it up now on the exit. Behind the Pennzoil. Really underrated car. Car that I like driving. We'll just keep going around the outside. 11 seconds now to the leaders. Try and go past a Singaporean driver who's driving my 911 there, a Sim Doctor variant. And then the Canadian, there's the helicopter. Getting a great view of the braking zone. Here's the Nissan Skyline. Can we go around the outside in the braking zone? Pick your braking point. Battling on the brakes. Lost of traction halfway through. We'll have the inside. You can look at the radar down at the bottom right and see that we've got them. Okay. On the power now. Get a nice bit of third person again. Eight seconds now off the lead. So, Molsan, do we want to go outside? Do we want to go inside? You can see puddles forming. We might start to get some aquaplaning. Seven seconds off the lead. Into Molsan, I'm going to dab the brake here. It's going to be difficult to get past the Peugeot. Is that Peugeot made its way all the way from the back? That's incredible. That's just hashtag Peugeot things. Under seven seconds now, but we're running out of track. Get a bit of slipstream, pull out. Tricky corners coming up, easy to bin it. And then we've got the Porsche curves, the Corvette curves, Chevrolet curves. Ford chicane. Here at Le Mans, it's almost going to be the 24 hours in real life. Who will win that? Will it be Ferrari? Will it be Toyota? Probably it's going to be Porsche in the 963 and by the way why don't we have the 963 in Gran Turismo 7 I spoke to the head of Porsche Motorsport and he's all over he's all over sim racing so I put in a good word for his viewers if you've seen that interview with Thomas Loudon back he wants to take sim races and put them in real Porsche cars very exciting right it's gonna get dark here as well four seconds off the lead but the pace is definitely better to I wonder if these drivers are actually on the wet tyre. I'm not sure this is going to be possible, to be honest. But this is about driving the Honda NSX, a new one. Well, the old one, but also the new one, if you know what I mean. Is it going to hang on here? Yes, it's got the grip. Oh! Traction loss. Can we get a good exit here? Oh, we've lost traction. Come on, we're still there. How do we win from here? Is it possible? Oh, nice uh, pointing in there as we're on the break. It's now I'm on the limit. Goodness me. Well. There we go, my first drive in anger. Look at it on the brakes, by the way. Look at that, angry on the brakes. Is this going to be a Group 3 monster? Honestly, I think it could be. Let me know your thoughts on driving this car in the comments. I really want to hear from you. And I might take this out in the daily races. Thank you so much. More videos around here. If you, if you enjoyed this one, you'll definitely love these. And I'll see you next time.